Mercer, I want to be a wizard, not a potato peeler. Now, Carson, we've already told you. You can't be a wizard till you can make those potatoes magically peel themselves. Magically peeled. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, if you can't tell, our recipe today is going to include potatoes and wizards. Uh, today we are going to make a shepherd's pie. Um, it's one of my family's favorite dishes. And we, as you know from last week, are doing themed dinners on the weekends. And our theme is Harry Potter and wizards. We are big Universal Studios fans. Uh, we are annual pass holders and we go up there frequently for short little trips and getaways. Uh, obviously right now we can't do that. So we are going to bring Harry Potter and Wizards to our house. So come with me, let's bring a little magic to our day and let's create a shepherd's pie. Okay, so you're going to need your potatoes. To start we're going to talk about the other ingredients. Uh, let's start talking about what goes on to the topping of the shepherd's pie and that is two pounds of potatoes. Uh, I have a little bit more than two pounds here because I'm also doing bangers and mash for our theme, but for the shepherd's pie, you need two pounds of potatoes peeled and cubed. And then you're gonna need one egg and six tablespoons of butter, half a cup of milk, and you're gonna want two to three tablespoons of sour cream. And for the meat, we're gonna need olive oil, two tablespoons of minced garlic or four or five cloves. And then you're gonna need one onion. I use yellow, you could use a white onion, chopped. And then one pound of lean meat. And then you need a small bag of mixed vegetables. As you see, I have a large bag, you're only gonna use half of that. And then finally, for the gravy, that gives all the flavor and brings it all together, you are gonna need half a cup of red wine, and a cup and a half of beef broth. I've combined it here. Two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. And step by step, we're gonna put this all together into this delicious dish. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add the potatoes to a rolling boil. You're gonna boil them for 12 to 20 minutes, it always varies. Um, we'll check them in about 12 minutes or so. So put those in there. Maybe more gracefully for you than for me. <laughs> and then, set this to the side. We're gonna start sauteing while these boil our garlic, onion, and olive oil. So let me turn this on about a medium. And I'm just gonna put about two tablespoons of oil, move it around a little bit. Add my garlic. This varies on how much garlic you really like. We love garlic in this house. Not great for the breath, but it is healthy. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons. This is half a tablespoon, this little measuring that I have. down and then we'll add my onion and I am just going to move that all around my oil and we'll, what we will do is we will cook this till the onions are close to clear and then we're going to add our hamburger meat so right now I'm just mixing it all up waiting for the heat to come on okay so our onion and garlic are just about perfect for us to add the ground beef. So I like to use lean. You don't have to use lean. I prefer it. Mix it all up in there. All right, time to check potatoes. It's been 13 minutes. I'm gonna give it two more minutes and those babies are gonna be ready. All right. Okay, so while we're waiting the, I guess we have about a minute left of the potatoes, the burger looks ready for us to add the frozen vegetables just to warm them up. So again, it was a small bag of mixed. 
Now some people in their shepherd's pie, they just do carrots and peas. You can do that if you prefer. I like all the different veggies. This is not exactly a traditional uh, shepherd's pie. It's a destiny shepherd's pie in this case. Okay, potatoes are ready. About 15 minutes, give or take a minute. Took. We're gonna drain them for the colander. And then, so we drain them in the colander, get all the water off of them. Now we're going to dump these right into our mixing bowl. Let's see if I cannot spill this all over my counter. Oh, a little bit. We had a couple casualties. Woo. That's okay. Oh, being super neat and graceful is not my thing. All right, let me just right over. Okay, now we're going to add six tablespoons of butter while it's really hot because it'll help melt it quick. I cut it up. Right, just like this. And then on top of that, we're going to add roughly two tablespoons, but I just say two dollops of sour cream. It helps make the potatoes a little creamier. And then a half a cup of milk. There we go. Now we're going to move this over to the mixer and start mixing it. The egg will be added last. So start on low when you mix, unlike me, because when you start high, sometimes it flies out all over you. A lesson I have had to learn numerous times. That's good enough, I think. That's good enough. Now I'm going to add my egg. Not get a shell in there. Excellent. Mix again. They're done and they're ready. Okay, so the potatoes are done. They're setting in the mixing bowl waiting. And the beef and vegetables are browned and perfect and ready. So I turn that on low. And now it's time to mix the gravy. So I'm gonna move all of this over to my stove and we're gonna make our roux. Let's go. Okay, so meat's ready, potatoes are ready. I've turned this on to medium heat so we can make our gravy. First thing you want to do is put your butter. I have two tablespoons of butter here. So we're going to put this and let it melt. Okay, so now that you've combined the butter with the flour slowly, created your paste, and then added your liquid, which was one and a half cups of broth and half a cup of wine. You're just going to mix it around. I have it on just a little bit over medium, between medium and medium high, um, until it gets nice and thick to a nice brown gravy. And it's getting close. this here and I have all my elements to combine. So I have my beef, my gravy, and the potato topping. They're going to go in that order. So let me put the beef in. Okay, based on your preference, this is where I would salt and pepper. Um, you don't have to. salt and a little pepper to taste. 
Now I'm going to add the gravy to this part. So I poured that around. Now I'm just going to mix it up. All right, so I'm going to flatten it out. Just like that. Nice and flat. All right. And then it's time for the potatoes. Let's go. Now I have extra in here for the bangers and mash, and I can use all of it. But I'm going to use enough to cover it. Okay, Just gently smooth out the potato very gently over this. Don't press too hard or all the gravy will come up on top won't hurt anything, it just won't be as pretty. Okay, and you smooth this out. Okay, so I'm gonna add Parmesan cheese. Just sprinkle it over the top and then a little bit of salt and pepper over the potatoes. Again, you don't have to do this. All right. Okay, so this is gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Oh man, this looks so good. If only I had a wizard to wave his wand, I wouldn't have to wait 30 minutes. Did someone call for a wizard? I don't know. You're not quite a wizard yet. Sounds dangerous. Well, we'll see about that. Shepherd's pie of lotion. Wow! Carson, you did it. <laughs> you really are a wizard. Well, we're going to eat this now. I can't believe it. Well, everyone at home, I hope that your shepherd's pie is as magical as ours. 